a home-brewed vaccine? Biologist Preston Estep says he has developed a COVID-19 nasal spray and has administered it on himself, his son, and other volunteers. So what are the side effects? Over 30 people have taken the vaccine and reported results to us, and uh, there have been a, a couple of mild headaches, but the vast majority have just experienced nasal congestion, and the, and the headaches have been very short-lived. I spoke to Dr. Ashish Jha, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. When you hear this idea of a DIY vaccine for coronavirus, what's your reaction? There's a long history of scientists um, doing things like this and uh, experimenting on themselves first. So it's not, uh, it's not a total surprise. Uh, I'm pretty skeptical that we'll end up finding a vaccine that ends up being widely used using this approach. The do-it-yourself vaccine contains ingredients commonly available to scientists who work on vaccinations, but critics say without rigorous scientific trials like the ones currently being conducted around the world, there's no way to know if the DIY vaccine is effective. 23-year-old Jacob Serrano is the first volunteer in the U.S. to take part in officially approved trials of the promising vaccine being tested by Oxford University. It's a personal crusade for Serrano. He's lost seven family members to COVID-19. I will do whatever it takes. So it's not just for me or my family, it's for everyone. So as the world awaits the outcome of the human trials, Dr. Estep hopes he may be on the way to solving the puzzle. We certainly are doing things a little bit differently than have been done historically.